Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. When one first hears about the possibility of awakening and that love is available every moment, it's very exciting. Once you realize that fear is not real and only love is real, it feels like you could just shift over to love, leave the fear behind since it doesn't even exist, and live your life in love, which is the goal. But that's not really how waking up works. This one loves a cartoon by Charles Schultz, the creator of Peanuts, where Snoopy says, I love mankind. And then in the next block, he says, it's people I can't stand. Well, there are similarities to that. We all love love. And yet, it doesn't usually play out that we make a shift once reading about the that fear is an illusion to just live in love. The work is to find the obstacles to love, the places where love doesn't come so easy. Acknowledge those places. This is where the people that you can't stand come from. There are opportunities to transform your experience and live in a wider, a wider place of love. When this one was first married, he and his wife didn't really know each other that well. And when they started talking about what it is that each of them liked the most, they realized that they had very different interests. He loved fishing and she loved gardening. And neither one was particularly interested in the other at all. I think they appreciated the benefits of each for the other. But one day his wife said to him, you know what I would consider heaven? And he asked, what? And she said, heaven would be sitting in my garden and pulling weeds. And his reaction was so strong, like, that sounds horrible. I can't imagine anything more awful than sitting there in the dirt pulling weeds. But over time, he came to see what she was talking about. Every weed that she pulled made the garden more beautiful. Her alertness for the weeds made her vigilant for places that needed tending. And her garden became more and more beautiful the more she cleaned it up. You are all in that place now where you're pretty clear that what you want is love. And the only thing that your work involves is finding all the places where fear has made a mo uh, home in your mind, where you've allowed fear and separation and contraction into your garden. And often this has to do with dealing with people, especially the ones you can't stand.
every time you're willing to see an obstacle, a place where you've resisted love, where you've been less than loving, where someone's been less than loving to you, every time you're willing to identify that and be with that and allow that and feel that and forgive that, your garden becomes more beautiful. You live in a wider space. You feel safer. And the demands that you place on life to be the way you think it should be start to drop away. And what you have is an appreciation for how lush and rich this garden is precisely because you've tended it and you were willing to weed it. And then you get to witness the miracle of growth and blossoming and all the ways that love is being expressed. Let yourself be open to all the obstacles, all the places where love does not flow freely because of some fear. Breathe into that. Tend your garden. In every place that you're willing to do that work, watch the influx of love fill in there, giving you greater access to the kingdom. This is a wonderful, wonderful journey. And you can take it at your own pace. What you'll find though, is that this garden is precious and you'll welcome the discovery of a weed that you can remove. You don't have to do it yourself, ask for help and we'll help you. The happiness that you deserve, that you are, the love that you are, is flowing through you more and more every day. Clear the way. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.